I'd like to greet all human beings all around the world with a universal greetings of peace and the blessings of God be with you. It doesn't matter what your political, philosophical, personal, nor religious beliefs may be. It doesn't matter uh, whether you the richest to the poorest person on the face of this earth. It doesn't matter if you the proclaimed toughest to the proclaimed weakest person on the face of this earth. It doesn't matter what your nationality, your creed, your race is, whether you're dark-skinned or light-skinned. It doesn't matter whether or not you like me, like my YouTube videos, like the things I say or the things I do. It doesn't matter whether you my family, friends, or my proclaimed enemy. Enemies, I greet you all with the same universal greetings of peace and the blessings of God be with you. I hope and pray that everyone had, those that celebrate Thanksgiving, had a peaceful Thanksgiving. No family members hurt, killed, or hospitalized. Those that may have had families uh, killed or hospitalized or sick, me and my household is praying for you. Uh, tonight happened to be Friday, November 29th, 2019. It's about 8.33 p.m. Taking a look at my security cameras. Normally when I take a look at my security cameras, something has happened. But you see, it's... Uh, the time is, I mean, uh, the month and the date and the year is November the 29th, 2019. The time being 8.32 uh, p.m. and 50 seconds. It's showing you the correct month, date, year, uh, hour, uh, second or minute, and even the seconds. This is something that I'm showing you all. First, I want to show you the first camera here. That shows Vine Street. If you see that, follow that little arrow. It'll show you where people came and kicked on the door. It'll show you where they came from. Then if you uh, get to camp the other cameras, you see where that trash can is at? Giving people warning. The Bible tells you to give warning for destruction. You see that trash can? You know, since those that have made threats saying you're coming back to knock on there again, just be prepared. You know, when you when you declare war, that's what you declare when you say you're coming back. It don't make no difference how old you is. If you're old enough to get on my YouTube video and say you're coming back to bang on the door again, just uh, think about this trash can that you see that arrow on. Okay, if you if you can't see well, you know, ask somebody what that arrow is on. That's on a trash can. That trash can been measured up a 250 pound individual can de uh, sit down in that trash can and pop up soon when you get to the door. You see the trash can fall, it's too late. You see what I'm saying? You might get some lead in you or you might get your legs or arm broken. You know, one of the two, you know, by you being juvenile, most likely you won't be killed, but you will be hurt severely. Let me show you these bushes. You see these bushes? You don't know who going to come up out of that. You follow what I'm saying? You don't know who going to come up out of them bushes. Let me take you to the back. You don't know who's going to come from out of there. You got bushes. You got a shed. You got a few things back there. You even got some grave sites back there. Four of them. You see what I'm saying? But anyway, you don't know who's going to come out of there. Let me take you to another one. You don't know who might be in one of them vehicles. You see that Crown Vic back there? You don't know who's going to pop out of there or pop out from behind it or up under it. You see that Suburban there? It's just like a hearse. You see, you see them big seats back in there? You don't know who going to pop up out of there. You follow what I'm saying? Those of y'all be threatening me and following me around. You don't know who going to be inside of there. You don't know if that hatch door open, who going to come out of there. You see, one thing about those that be making threats, put them on all four. Those who be making threats to me or coming around my house, that's to show you how ignorant it is. Uh, mice or rat have more sense than you all. You see, once that mice or rat uh, then got almost caught in that rat trap, normally they don't come back unless they, they greed, you know, or ignorant. And some of y'all may be ignorant, you know what I mean? But hopefully, and I pray that you're not ignorant enough to come on the property. You see what I'm saying? One thing about me, like I said, you know, when God changed my life around some decades ago, 
Uh, he showed me I don't have to murder and kill nobody because the battle ain't mine, it's his. But he did show me how to protect myself by any means necessary. You see what I'm saying? One thing about it, when the court system don't do their job or the law enforcement don't do theirs and they let you go because it's Raymond Lewis Ivy, believe me, Raymond Lewis Ivy is prepared for you. You see four cameras there. But you can't see the one on the roof. Let me show you across the street at that sub police station. Now you see up on the top there? It's three cameras right there. If they got three cameras right there. Okay, you can go back to all four. You don't know what I got on top of mine. You don't know who might be up there. And the last thing I'm going to tell y'all. Most of y'all think I'm by myself. Y'all thank God that I'm still alive and well and able to communicate because the people that is, that's in my circle, some of my family and friends, you see what I'm saying? They don't want to talk to you. They don't care how old you is. When you do what you do uh, uh, to me and my family, they want to kick your door in and go get you, knocking anybody out of the way that's trying to block. You follow what I'm saying? These is people that listen to what I say because I'm alive and well. Once you do take my life, if you take it, if God allow you to take it, I can't tell them from the grave what to do. But I can tell you one thing. You can run, but you can't hide because they know all of y'all. And stop banking on because you got a big family or your family work in the school, the police department, the sheriff department, a city hall, the courthouse, or in one of these organizations, NAACP, or working with Susanna Westy Family Learning Center. That don't mean nothing. That don't mean nothing at all. And I'm not knocking them, but I'm going to tell you one thing. Keep thinking I'm by myself. Just keep thinking I'm by myself. All I can just say, all I can just say is, I pray to God, I pray to God that you juveniles and you adults find you somebody else to play games with because I done gave you your warning. You think a person calling 911 is a snitch. No, it's, it's not a snitch, not when it come to me. If you look up my background, you see what I'm saying? I didn't go to penitentiary for snatching persons. I didn't go to penitentiary for beating on nobody dope. You see what I'm saying? I didn't go on to go to the penitentiary for attacking nobody. I went into the penitentiary for burying you, some of you individuals that came and tried to attack me. Those that didn't get away, they handicapped for the rest of their life because they came attacking me. You see, that's what that's what happened with Adolf Hitler. Some of you blacks down here in Charleston, Missouri, y'all remind me of Adolf Hitler. Adolf Hitler was an ignorant, racist, white individual thought he was going to take over the world. You see, when Adolf Hitler got to going on other people's territory, you see what I'm saying? Whites and blacks came up at him. You notice one thing about Raymond Lewis Ivey, I never go upon y'all porches. I don't know. I never go by your houses. You see what I'm saying? Because when I come by your house or come by your porch, I'm coming to take care of some business. You see what I'm saying? Some business that you won't be able to know what even happened. And I pray that that don't happen. Again, I'm going to say this here. Anybody in this town, if somebody tell you something that I said about you, if you ain't hear me say it, come ask me about it. And I'm going to tell you why I said this here. And I ain't going to even mention the person's name. One of my critics that don't live here, that used to live here, mother approached me a couple of days ago when I was at Boomland talking to a white guy and a black guy. Rudely interrupt me and asked me what's my name. I told him what my name was. Rudely said, leave my name out of your mouth. And keep my son's name out of your mouth. I asked her who her son was. She told me, and I ain't going to say who it was. 
And she told me, and I said, let me talk to you for a minute. What I was going to do is explain to her what her son coming on my page. You see, if you tell me to keep your son out your mouth, then you, you have to see what your son's saying. This, this YouTube video is Raymond Ivey's YouTube video. Anybody is welcome to come on it because I don't block them. But when you come on saying negative things about me, you see what I'm saying? Your mother, your father, if you're in a gang, your gang, you see what I'm saying? You can't tell me what to say on my YouTube video. I'm not in a gang. My game is Raymond Lewis Ivy game. My name, my game is the Ivy game. Not saying I'm tough, but I'm tough enough to take up for me, my two daughters, my daddy, and this property that I live on. I'm tough enough when I'm out in the streets driving any one of these vehicles or walking the streets by myself or with my children or my daddy. I'm tough enough to take care of us because one thing about me, different than you all that been attacking me, I'm willing to die and I'm willing to kill. That's with a capital K. Kill anybody that try to harm me and my family. You see, y'all talk about fighting, whooping me. It ain't going to be now one of these. I can box. I'm in probably better shape than any of y'all or your parents. I know I got more sense up here. Now, I give respect to the parents that stop their children from doing this stuff before they get killed. It's possible that they can kill me, but when they do, you don't know what the outcome is. You don't know who I am. You don't know who I know, but I know who you are. I know who you know. You can't go no farther than Charleston with this mess that you do. You go anywhere outside of Charleston, you're dead. Period. You're dead. I can travel any place. You follow what I'm saying? I sure ain't going to let nobody hear nobody else to tell me where I can live. You see what I'm saying? what I can say out of my mouth. But anyway, this particular lady that uh, approached me, I sent a message to her son. It was me and him. Let him know, your mother disrespect me. I didn't disrespect her back. I could have. But one thing about it, he didn't get disrespectful. He told me that somebody told a lie to his mother, said that I said a certain thing. But you know, when you grown and you listen to something somebody else say, that get people hurt. What if I had snapped back? What if my daughter's name was with me? What if my son was with me and she approached me like that there? You follow what I'm saying? I'm their parent. When you individuals disrespect me, my children feel the same way you feel. But I'm going to leave it like this here. I done showed you my security cameras, not because I'm afraid of you, just to show you.